The major differences of combination and permutation is that ordering and combination does not matter. So by defini definition, combination is a selection of items in which order does not matter. Now it's given by the formula n factorial all over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Now if we're going to evaluate 8 or combination of 8 taken 5 at a time, using direct substitution, we'll be able to solve for this particular combination problem. So, combination of 8 taken 5 at a time will be 8 factorial all over 8 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. By simplifying your expression, you'll have 8 factorial all over 3 factorial times 5 factorial. Now, to simplify your factorial notation, what I'm going to do is expand 8 up until 5 factorial. And the reason why I, I expanded it this way is so that I don't need to go farther to 4, 3, 2, and 1 because I can cancel 5 factorial automatically if I just expand it up until 5 factorial. Now I'm left with 8 times 7 times 6 all over 3 times 2 times 1, which gives me 56. Now 56 is the number of arrangement you can produce using this notation of combination. Now, how do we apply combination or this particular formula in a word problem? In this particular example, we're going to use combination to evaluate the word problem. So we have Gabby, Carly, Ivana, Alfredo, and Angelo, and they are considered to join the Math Olympics. However, only three students are going to be chosen. Now, how many possible combinations can be made on this group? Now, we're, the n in this particular problem will be 5 because there are 5 students being considered to join the Math Olympics. However, only 3 of them can go to the Math Olympics. So that will be our r. So by using the formula n factorial all over n minus r factorial times r factorial, we'll have 5 factorial all over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Now to further simplify your factorial notation, the number of ways wherein we can choose 3 students out of the group of 5 students that we have is going to be equal to 10. Now 10 is the number of possible ways and one possible combination here will be Gabby, Carly, or Ivana. So that's one. However, if we picked Ivana, Gabby, and Carly, it's not going to count because we already could consider them in our first group. So the next group that we can have will be Gabby, Carly, or Alfredo. Or we can have Gabby, Carly, and Angelo. And then repeat the steps to find the pattern or arrangement that you can make and it will be totaled as 10. So there are 10 possible ways.